From 1920 until 1933, the United States of America conducted one of history's more stupid social experiments, imposing prohibition on alcohol, despite the fact that consumption of alcohol was well embedded into social custom. The result was the development of a sophisticated black market in bootleg alcohol. The vessel I'm Alone flew a Canadian flag, but the vessel was owned and operated by US citizens. In 1929, it had been to the Caribbean island of Belize and stocked up with a load of liquor. It was intercepted by a Coast Guard vessel and tried to flee. The Coast Guard vessel pursued I'm Alone and sunk it. One crew member died and the others were arrested. Canada protested against this use of force against what was, according to its flag, a Canadian ship. They protested on the basis of a convention which had been established between the USA and Great Britain, Canada then being a British Dominion. The matter was referred to arbitration. The arbitrators found that the Coast Guard were entirely within their rights to have pursued I'm Alone and to have prevented the breaches of US law, but they were not within their rights to have sunk the vessel. The arbitrators said, the United States might, consistently with the convention, use necessary and reasonable force for the purpose of effecting the objects of boarding, searching, seizing, and bringing into port the suspected vessel. And if sinking should occur incidentally, Pursuing vessel might be entirely blameless. But the commissioners think that the admittedly intentional sinking of the suspected vessel was not justified by anything in the convention. However, the story wasn't over. The arbitrators found that compensation was due to the crew members who'd been on the vessel, but they found that because the vessel was, in reality, owned and operated by US citizens, the harm to Canada was only nominal. The US was required to apologise and to pay a token sum of $25,000 to Canada to compensate Canada for harming its national interests. But no actual compensation for the value of the boat or the value of the liquor on board the boat was payable. From this case, we learn two things. Hot pursuit of vessels in international waters is justified, but minimum force should be used and international tribunals are allowed to award nominal, token sums of compensation. Mm -hmm.